Greetings and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to feature this uh, stereo spring reverb unit. I've built it into a box of a Clark Technic DN360. As you can see, it has a graphic equalizer. And inside the box, I've installed two of those uh, Type 9 spring reverb units with three springs in it. And I've added those uh, PCBs that I made that can drive the spring reverb. So I have the signal coming from the auxiliary send of the console. It's going to the input amplifier. Then it goes to the equalizer. From the equalizer, it goes to the PCB that drives the reverb and going to the output amplifier of the unit. And from there, back to the console. I've also re removed the internal power supply and made it an external power supply by installing it into this box. So now we have room to the spring tanks and we remove all the unwanted the AC currents that can make some noises into the spring tanks. So let's start and hear how it sounds in a mix situation and I will demonstrate how we can play with the EQ and make the reverb sound different and we have like thousands of possibilities of sound that we can take from this unit. So here we go. Okay, so let's start and listen to a mix of a rhythm that I'm working on. We will start by listening to it without the reverb and then we will bring in the reverb and hear it in a stereo configuration. I have set up the EQ of each channel differently so we can hear the different characters of the reverbs. We have the left reverb of channel 8 and the right reverb on channel 9. Here we go. And let's open the reverb. different reverbs. Let's start with the drums. This is the drums without the kick. This is dry. And now with the left reverb. And right reverb. And mix of both of them. And let's listen to the bass. Now this is dry. And now listen to the bass with reverb. So this is only the right reverb, because on the left one I've got all the low frequencies, so there's nothing over there. I like it, this is beautiful. Let's move to the organ. This is dry, left reverb, right reverb, skunking guitar, dry, left reverb, right reverb, mix of both of them. Piano, dry, left reverb, right reverb, and we also have some percussions, this is dry, with the left reverb, And right reverb. And let's bring the mix together. Is 
dry and wet. In this part of the video, I will demonstrate how the reverb sound changes while playing with the graphic EQ. So I will use only the upper uh, reverb unit. I will send different instruments into the reverb and I will play with the faders. So we will listen how the sound changes while playing with it. So let's starting with the drums. First dry and then we will bring in the EQ and play with it. Okay, so this is dry, the EQ is flat, and let's bring in the EQ. And let's start and play with the EQ. Pretty cool. Now let's move to the bass. And let's open some reverb on it. dry and let's bring in some skunking guitars now the EQ is flat And let's move to the piano. This is dry. Okay, so let's move to the percussions. This is dry. And with reverb. Ok, 
okay, so in general, I can say it sounds pretty cool. I like how it sounds, I like how it acts. I'm saying that with the graphic EQ, I can achieve many characters of reverbs, which makes this unit very versatile. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.